Hey everyone, this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com and thank you for joining me today for Video Game Talk. Today's segment is going to be regarding the Super Mario Brothers 35th Anniversary Direct that we got this morning on September 3rd, 2020. Now I already put up my live reaction video to that 16 minute segment and then started to dive in a little bit more on particular topics in the video, but I thought it really deserves its own video game talk segment so I could do a full deep dive and also shed some light on some of the things that weren't necessarily discussed in the video. I'm really excited because this was just a great start to the day and some of the things like I said deserve a little bit more attention including this right here Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. What they didn't specify is that the game will actually include online multiplayer. That's big because Super Mario 3D World was a fantastic four-player Mario game on Wii U when it released several years ago, but the multiplayer was only on one console, one TV screen or gamepad, four people at a time. Now to be able to play online on Nintendo Switch is just awesome. That really elevates this title to a whole nother level of fun in my opinion. And Bowser's Fury looks to be a really cool expansion. We still don't know all that much on it, but I'm really looking forward to more. Uh, the package itself comes out February 21st, 2020. So that's only a few months away. And I actually think it's a pretty good amount of space between now, well, this September's uh, upcoming Super Mario 3D compilation package, All-Stars, and this uh, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury pack package. Let both sell well, fill in a September gap, and give us something in February to look forward to, which is really nice because sometimes the first quarter of a year, of a calendar year, is kind of empty, this is going to be perfect to fill that in. Next up, something that we didn't get to see earlier are actually two Amiibo that Nintendo has in store. We've got Cat Mario here and Cat Peach. They look really nice. They're coming out soon. You can see there's a really nice fuzzy attention to detail on Mario, his outfit, Princess Peach, her outfit. They look cute. They look really nice. I'm definitely picking up both for uh, my kids and for myself. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's for me. No, we're all going to enjoy it together. And that's just a, a wonderful thing that, you know, Mario, the franchise has meant so much to me for so many years. And now being a dad of a five-year-old and a three-year-old, getting to share this passion with them is just really nice, really special. So I wanted to show off these Amiibo and I think if you're a Mario fan, it's definitely going to be nice to have in your collection. Now, we don't know what the Amiibo's purposes will be in the game, if any. Presumably, it's got to have something to do with it, right? Um, if I had a guess, it could be giving you access to the cat power-up at any time. Maybe it's usable once per stage or once per day, maybe it'll drop some other item. Who knows, maybe it'll be random items like the cherry multiplier. Multiplier, But we'll see. But still pretty cool to look at it. And then we have some news on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars package, which as you know, is coming out in a week, which is fantastic. Talk about a drop. It'll be available digitally and physically. And something that they mentioned in the video but didn't um, elaborate further on, which we found out later, was the resolutions of the games. All three titles will be in 720p when in portable mode. And particularly, Sunshine and Galaxy get the 1080p upgrade treatment when on TV. So all three 720p, that makes sense, when in handheld mode, portable mode, but it's Sunshine and Galaxy that get that extra bump to 1080p. That means that, yes, Super Mario 64, you'll be playing in 720p even on your television screen, but I think that's going to be fine. It'll still be a nice bump up in resolution. 
I have to admit, I was hoping personally that Super Mario 64 would get this more grand treatment of, you know, going into 16x9 widescreen mode, being in 1080p, and especially getting that repainting of the visuals, um, like a full remake look. Keep the game, you know, similar, all the stages, the gameplay mechanics, all of that stuff, the power-ups, uh, same worlds to explore, possibly adding more. You know, if you watched my previous video game talk segment, which happened to be of this supposed Super Mario 35th anniversary collection, which is true now, I really talked a lot about what I want out of each of the three titles, and really, it was Super Mario 64 that I wanted to get the biggest bump up. It looks like with Sunshine and Galaxy, we're getting exactly what I wanted. Just throw them in 1080p, widescreen, uh, give access to the right analog stick to have full camera control. And especially for Super Mario Galaxy, that last feature is going to be pretty interesting because that game lets you see the worlds from multiple angles, but due to how you were playing, it was a look forward type of experience and not a 3D full camera angle rotating experience. So that right there is going to change a bit of the game. We'll see more of how exactly that plays out. Sunshine though, you know, for the most part operated just fine back on the Nintendo GameCube with the right C-Stick. However, there were some moments in the title where the camera angle got a little wonky. So it'll be interesting to see if they've addressed any of that. And then you've got Super Mario 64 where, you know, it was the predecessor to dual analog stick gaming with a second analog stick primarily being used in these third person adventure platforming games as the camera. You know, we had a couple of buttons and now we've got a full 360 degrees of motion via the second analog stick. How will that change? Will it be a full 3D camera effect or will it just be, mm, pretty much left left, pretty much right right, and so forth. Uh, I do like that it's not just the three games. You know, we are getting a full, beautiful musical soundtrack. So I think that's nice. I'm also happy that it is not just digital, that we are able to get a physical cartridge. It is interesting that Nintendo is only selling it, making it available to buy until March of 2021. It's kind of a Disney vault type of thing, if you think about it. Now, could this potentially limit the sales of the game? Uh, quite possibly. I mean, if you are a Nintendo Switch owner new to the system and you bought a console between April and, let's say, December 2021, after this game was already released and is no longer available, but you would love to have it for Christmas 2021 or your birthday in July or whatever. You can't get it unless if you're buying it used, not even available on the eShop. Interesting choice. I think that's going to limit, well, I mean, obviously it's going to limit how well the game could sell going forward unless if Nintendo pulls it out and puts it back in on eShop at different times to size periodically to restock retailers. It's an interesting choice. I personally would have liked to see it always available because uh, these are three fantastic games that should be enjoyed by as many people as possible. But that being said, I fully expect that this is going to be a huge seller for Nintendo Switch because the value is there. You're paying $60 for three big fantastic games if you're getting the physical version. But yeah, that's the resolution update. It'll be interesting to see what everyone thinks of the package when they get to play it hands-on. Like I said, not to say I'm disappointed because I think it's a great package. I think the price is there. I like the resolution increase for two of the games. I'm, I'm satisfied enough with Mario 64's 720p resolution, but a little bit disappointed that Super Mario 64 didn't get like an alternate mode, if you will. 
it would have been nice that, okay, they retained the original game, its look, just in 720p, higher resolution, but still in 4x3 mode. But then they also gave you that, all right, here is one of these three games, just this one, Super Mario 64, in this breathtaking new engine, where it's the same game you know and love, maybe some new stuff added in, but it's using the Super Mario Odyssey engine, or that engine, but not that game's visual style. Maybe it is using visuals more comparable to the 3D art that Nintendo created in their uh, production materials way back in the day, the posters back in 1996 for Super Mario 64. Trying to replicate that, you know? So I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't have that. But overall, it's okay. We're getting quite a bit. I'm looking forward to owning that cartridge. The box art looks cool. And the fact that, you know, two, two out of the three games I'll be able to play in 1080p on my TV is going to look really nice. So, good job Nintendo overall on this package. But one day, come on, give us Super Mario 64 fully remade, okay? Next up, a little bit of a detail dive in on this Mario Kart Live Home Circuit set. Um, four people can play at once. Each person, however, will need to have uh, his or her own Nintendo Switch. You'll have to have your own cart, obviously. It's retailing for currently 9,980 yen in Japan, which translates to about $100 in the United States. So expect it to be a $99.99 um, title when it comes out October 16th. But pretty cool. That's a look at the Mario set. This is a look at the Luigi set. Mario, Luigi, you can see that you're getting a um, couple of different you see a couple of different looks is what I was trying to say. Uh, what you get in the set breaks it down. Different arrows that you could put along the way, create your own course. That's just going to be fun. It's really neat. It's cool to see Nintendo do this type of content, make this type of stuff. You know, we love them as a video game company, but in reality, their video games are so popular that they can make it the race card. They can make the movie. They can make the comics, the t-shirts. They could partner up with, you know, different shoe companies and Puma, Vans, and we'll eat it up because there's 35 years worth of fans. And, you know, we don't just like games. We like movies. We like clothing. And if you like more than just games and you like these characters, you're probably going to buy this kind of stuff outside of games, such as the Lego sets and the Levi's uh, partnership and so forth. So it's cool. I'm looking forward to Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. The image right here is a little bit cut off on Luigi. Next up, we have a quick little one minute look at a Super Mario Brothers, your favorite games trailer. Super Worlds. A good look at all of the games that you could enjoy from Mario on your Nintendo Super Switch. Fun. Super Mario. Play your favorite Super Mario games and more coming soon on Nintendo Switch. That's great. I love that little uh, art at the end. You know, ah, that's a funny spot to pause Mario on. There we go. Smile. Uh, it's really nice seeing this much attention for kind of an interesting year, 35. 35th year. It's definitely a bigger celebration than 25, despite 25 being, you know, normally the, the quarter century mark, the number that draws the most attention. But 35 is something to be very proud of. Obviously, it's 10 years more of success and 10 years more of fandom. So 
technically it is more impressive just when you think of celebrations you think 25 not 35 but thank you to nintendo for doing this um it's fantastic that we're getting so much mario content this year and really all year round nintendo's been doing things it's just here at the end is just this boom mega hit of gaming and that's what most people were looking forward to but i'm quite pleased with how 2020 rolled out for nintendo and mario you know aside from not having this grand nintendo direct that's another thing uh it's quite a bit of fun and then finally uh, that's cool number one on trending for gaming just a little bit of a look the 35th anniversary at the, original the earlier trailer. Here's a classic way to play. This is nice. You on included. So you can play the we talked about this when we were live, of course, but to uh, discuss a little further, uh, Game & Watch having a standalone unit that operates as your clock and giving you the ability to play classic Super Mario Brothers is pretty nice that was a fun pleasant surprise available November 13th should be a good holiday title and coming out at around $50 is also not bad we discussed this taking a look at Bowser's Fury I wonder could it possibly give us the opportunity to play as Bowser? I mean, here you see Cat Mario, so we know that this is more Mario gameplay, presumably with um, multiplayer still and all of that. Uh, the world looks bigger. Is this a bigger world to run around in, or is this just part of the trailer for trailer purposes? Because Super Mario 3D World had smaller stages, you know, without this dynamic scrolling camera, but you know, it was a fantastic game, but it was just different than your typical 3D Mario title. Will Bowser's Fury be something more similar to like an Odyssey kind of setup? Classic 3D roaming around Mario, or will it be still in 3D World's design? We'll see. This was a pleasant surprise too. Against other players near and far in this online battle game. I thought at first there was going to be, you know, 35 Marios running around on one screen in one map at the same time, but that's not the case. It's, you know, simultaneous playthroughs of different people going through the game, dropping uh, weapons, items on each other's screens and so forth. And yeah, this one... It comes out October 1st, but it is playable until March 31st. It'll be available for free for Nintendo Switch Online owners, which is great. But the fact that it's playable till a certain time is interesting. Um, you know, I'm glad that they didn't make the Super Mario 3D All-Stars playable until a certain time. You could buy it until a certain time, which is... Almost the same thing, but not quite. Playable means it's just locked. It's done. Uh, there's no chance at owning it, right? Whereas 3D All-Stars, you can own it as long as you buy it before then, but then you could play it you know, forever after. We did break down this, and I, I think that uh, Mario Kart Live looks nice coming out Oct October 16th, as previously mentioned. I'm looking forward to these Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary pins. I think that is a cool look back at Mario, and you get Mario 2, 3, World, 64, Sunshine, Galaxy, New Super Mario Brothers, Galaxy 2, Art, 3D World, Odyssey. Did I say Odyssey twice? Um, yeah, really nice. The whole Nintendo Mario Collect-a-thon by participating in different events online to get points and stuff like that is pretty cool. Some little surprises that we got along the way uh, were, you know, updates coming to Super Mario Maker 2. That was nice. Nintendo Apparel, getting new Mario t-shirts. We know that Nintendo is going to have a couple of upcoming Splatfests. We didn't know what it was going to be based on. Now we see. It's Super, Mar Super Size 
from a Super Mushroom or Invincibility from a Superstar. That's coming January. That's awesome. We're getting t-shirts. We're getting pins. Mario Kart Tour update. Obviously, this was the heavy hitter. This is what so many of us were looking forward to. Another interesting thing to note about uh, Galaxy in this case is that Super Mario Galaxy will have optional motion controls. You can use the two Joy-Con and motion controls to simulate that experience with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. You could also have two people play, so you could have that co-star mode, but it's all optional and we'll find out more details in time. It comes out though September 18th, so it's really in 15 days, so not quite next week, but in 15 days, very soon, overall, quite a special day, quite a nice day for Nintendo fans, for Mario fans. We get Super Mario All-Stars available on the SNES today. You know, they already showed off um, their Jack Specific toy. Here's a look at some of the t-shirts that we got. Animal Crossing crossover. The Puma branded Super Mario shoes. There we go. I showed that off yesterday in Video Game News. But that looks nice. That's something new. Black milk clothing. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that I covered everything. Because like I said, More details will be available on our this was the video that I wanted to make that dove deeper America into Twitter it, providing account. you with a little bit of my own Plus, opinions, four classic um, elaborated on, and also shed some news that wasn't necessarily in the direct itself, like prices and whatnot. But that's a look back. Let me know what you think. Are you looking forward to Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury? Are you going to pick up these Mario and Peach Amiibo that are Cat Mario, Cat Peach based? Are you excited for Super Mario 3D All-Stars? Are you going to get it digitally or physically or not at all? Are you disappointed in any of them or in what the package is? How do you feel about the soundtrack? Let me know in the comments below. Are you going to get Mario Kart Live Home Circuit? And are you Team Mario or Team Luigi? And yeah, any feedback is appreciated. Thank you for watching with me. This was a fun video game talk segment. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for watching. This is Paul Gale from Paul Gale Network signing out, and I will see you next time. Bye.